What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be uh, doing the old classic on the channel, you know, the the, the, the big old cla- is it a classic now? I don't know if it is or not. I basically get to try your tunes, and if I don't like them, I get to ban you in my Discord for a week. It's a, it's a very interesting concept that I came up with as kind of like a joke, because I used to try your tunes anyway. But uh, as a joke, I said, you know what, if you guys send me some bad tunes, I'll end up banning you from the Discord for a week. And, uh, I don't know, a lot of people seem to like the series, so I'm happy to, to continuously bring it out. And, again, it's a little bit of fun because it gets to include the community as well. So, if you want to join in, if you want to send over some tunes, maybe it'll get praised, I guess, or you'll get other people to use your tune, or you get banned from my Discord for a week, um, which also is kind of funny. But, uh... I'm not the only judge here, the comments are also the judges here, so if the comments don't like your tune, then uh, I guess we'll see. But, in today's video, I have two tunes picked out to try, and uh, and I'm down to give it a shot and see if it's, uh, if it's uh, something that people will enjoy watching. So, I have one here that's built. Apparently, this dude got a top 60 with this tune on the Oasis Cross Country, apparently. So we'll have a look at that one. And then I have another one which is a drift tune, but it's a very interesting car. And uh, we'll have a look at that one as well. And he said the angle this thing throws is insane. So I'm excited to drive both of these tunes. We'll have a look at both of them. Obviously I'll show you guys the share codes. And uh, not only I will decide if the tunes are good or bad, but also you guys get to decide if the tunes are good or bad. Uh, but I guess they could be very good. The second one's a little controversial because of the car that it is, but we'll have a look and see. But the first one is a BMW 2002 Turbo, and like like I said, he said he got top 60, so I might as well showcase this tune and see what it's like. So, in this, go to tunes, go to this, go to that. Okay, cool. Let's see. So, tune 356 631 303. Here's the share code. There it is. It says why. I mean, it's good that this is... I mean, it's not maxed out in, S in S2, but I don't think a lot of cars will be maxed out in S2, especially with the off-road tire compound and stuff like that, because the class kind of makes it so the car... Like, the class that it is, is what it's like on the road instead of off-roading. So, the class doesn't really matter that much, but... Very interesting concept of a car to try and use for this. I mean, it's small, it's lightweight, you threw a lot of horsepower to the, into this thing, so... Should be, uh... It should be fun. Oh, there it is. I don't know why I kept going. I was like, wait a second. This is much older than that. So, 2002 Turbo. Very cool little car. Always, always, always love these. But, of course, this one that this guy sent over is a bit of a rally build, apparently. He's also part of my club as well, which I've seen a little earlier. So, 1,270 horsepower, which is a lot. 1,223 newt of torque, which is a lot. And it weighs basically 1.1 tons, which is not a lot at all. Um... But this is the tune. So let's slap it on and see if this if this thing is actually capable of doing what this guy said he's doing. So he did, did he did this top 60 on the uh, Oasis Cross Country. So we'll go on the similar one. We'll go on the Oasis Cross Country as well. Which one is that? I don't remember which one that is. Uh, this one. Okay. No, okay, no, I, I know this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This, this should be fun. This one's kind of annoying because I think it has like a jump that it like, if you don't hit it properly, you just get thrown into, like, the invisible wall in, like, midair. It's a bit annoying. Um, what's my previous time on this thing? I'll probably pick that. Apparently, the game just doesn't want to show it to me. I did it in the Radical. Some, I think this is a tune that someone sent to me as well before, and I tried it on this. So, let's select myself as my ghost, and apparently, this guy said he got top 60, so I should it should be better than the Radical as well. It looks sick with the rally tires. Well, they're not really rally tires. They're, like, off-road Weird off-road tires. Big chunky things. The rally tires look different, but... Um, let's just make sure we're on standard. Ste steering as well, because if you throw this thing off-road with uh, sim steering, it's a bit... It's a bit dodgy. Oh my god, right. Oh, this thing has a lot of off-road grip. A lot more than the Radical, I'll tell you that. And keep in mind that the Radical is already top 1,000 on this. Okay. So whatever I'm doing with this... 
I'm doing it to a top 1000 build. Is this the jump or is it the next one? I can't remember. Uh, this is one of them. I think this one, when you land, it goes to the right a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, that was a terrible landing for me. This is another one of those. Yeah, this is the one that I was talking about. You land poorly, you hit the wall, which I did. So I need to be a little bit more careful with the way I land there, but I'm going to try to do this run like this. I'll get a flag time, it's fine, but I can see what the car is like. I don't know what I did with that radical. I think I have to slow down a lot with it or something. I don't know what the deal is with it, but it seems so much slower than this. But it only seems slower in corners, because by the looks of things, everywhere else, it's just, this, it's just so much better. Uh, it's a fast little car. I need to try and position myself a little bit better for some of the corners and try not to land in the wall. But, overall, very sick little car. I mean, like I said, I was doing that to a top 1000 car, like, it's not... It's not like I'm racing just some random person in some random tune. That was that was me, like maybe like a month or two ago, maybe even sooner than that. It's the initial push at the very beginning of the, the, the radical that's that's really good. I think the radical slides a lot. Yeah, it does slide a lot. It is S2998 as well, so keep that in mind. I don't know if the Radical also has these same waffle tires that I have. Oh my god. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, I'm so stupid. Why did I? <laughs> I'm so dumb. Wait, I'm just going to restart it. Why am I doing rewinding? I'm so stupid. I thought the... F uh, never mind. I don't know what I was doing, I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. Alright, let's try again. go man that took so long i hate this track with a passion like it's an awful awful track bro it's just the same place it's, there's no other place where i actually messed up in and it was only that one place where i have to land between those two walls it's the stupidest thing in the world and if you don't land right in the middle of the path like i did here and if you land slightly to the right then i'm in the wall if i land slightly to the left of the path it'll just bounce me into the wall next to me it's just such a terrible terrible track <laughs> But it's such a good, good car. I actually really like it. That's very, very sick. Here's the thing. 
Alright, I don't really want to keep doing this over and over again because I really, really hate this truck. <laughs> like, it's really, really bad. Uh, and I really don't want to try it anymore, but I uh, I feel like I believe this guy when he said he uh, he got top 60 with it on this. I mean, we can probably search for him now at this point. I should be high enough up, at least, to be able to to see where, where he is. So I was, what, 700 and something in the world? He said he's top 60, right? Let's let's search because he's in my club. And we should be able to see him if he is actually top 60. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Okay, so he got 65. Well, I mean, maybe other people like beat him, but he got 65th. And well, he did a 133. I'm still way off that. I did like a 139 or 138, right? Yeah. 256. Fair enough. It's a good tune. I really like it. I just don't want to keep going over and over again because I really hate this track. But the car is actually quite good. Give it a shot yourselves and let me know what you think of it. Uh, I don't think this is a bandworthy tune. I think this is a very good tune. Uh, I mean, if he managed to squeeze out a top 60 with it as well, and uh, I managed to do that after, like, that's my, like, my very first attempt of a clean run, by the way. There's no other runs that I've done that were clean. Um, but if I keep going over and over again, I probably will end up getting it. It's just that one place that's really, really annoying. And it's somewhere where you land between the two walls. It's just, I don't know why they made it like that, but I guess they did, and it's, it's incredibly annoying to, to play on. So, um, yeah. I like it. I think it's a very good tune. Let's move on to our second tune for today. Now, I did say that this second tune is a bit, a bit controversial just because of the card that's been used. Um, so here's the tune. 165. 649095. Um Yep. It's for a Zonda Cinque. <laughs> it's a drift tune for the Zonda Cinque. It's on drift suspension, it's on snow tire compound, it's rear wheel drive. Power has been left the same. A lot of it's been left the same. I guess suspension wise is the only thing that's been really altered with this thing. Suspension and tires. It feels like this could be a very good recipe for a really, really good car. And apparently this guy said it holds some serious angles. So I'm very intrigued by this now. I'm very, very intrigued by this. He did say it's... Uh, it's he did say it's a smooth tandem base drift tune. So that's probably why I didn't give it a stupid amount of power. But I like that. I, I definitely prefer cars that have been tuned more to... Is it? Yeah. Cars has been that have been tuned more to be like purpose-built cars instead of just slapping like thousand horsepower and then making an all-wheel drive and then just going down the mountain. You know, I kind of like this tune quite a lot already. Before before I'm even trying it, but I really want to give it a shot here and see. This should also scream really nicely as well. It should should sound really good. Eh, not as good as I expected it to be. No heavy toe. This seems like a very good car. Oh, I like this already. I feel like this this is not one of those cars that you take down the mountain. I mean, you probably can. Oh, I actually really like it. He's not wrong about the angle. Uh, I hate every time you do that, by the way, every time you pop up on the curb, it actually... For whatever reason, it feels like it, it decreases your grip. I don't know why. Well, actually, it kind of increases my grip because it... I don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly. It grip changes anyway <laughs> when I hop up on the curb. See, I'm kind of tempted to go down the mountain with it, but at the same time, I feel like this should be one of those cars because he said it's a tandem base tune, right? It's not really a car to be taken down the mountain. So I have a couple of uh, tracks, I'm pretty sure, that I have saved here um, that I should be able to try and take it down. Um, 
so we have this the ultimate drift track uh, challenge and then also the custom drift circuit both of these are also very they're very very good for for being uh for for being like basically little like tandeming circuits and it is this one as well driftopia compound i can't remember this one i want to try this one what is this one like so those first two I remember 100%. This one I don't remember. But I want to bring it onto this one. Let's see what this is. I think I know which one this is. I think, I think, I think I know which one this is. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, I know exactly which one this is. Oh, I know exactly which one this is. So yeah, this is also another one of those where you can just kind of mess around. No, I like it. I like it. Wait, 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 wait. Here's, let me do one thing that I forgot to do in, in one of the previous videos as well when I was testing out drift cars and that and that's turned on my drift camera he is not wrong with this thing being very good for timing because in second gear you can you can just hold angle with it. With the throttle control and everything. Not the smoothest track in the world this, but... Uh, oh god. I did kind of forget about it. I, I didn't remember about this track. But there's so many like little like spots and easter eggs and that. And I remember when the, when this person basically sent it over. This was, uh, this was when I was still like testing out tracks that people sent in. I probably should revisit that series as well. Because, uh, especially now since the, uh, the whole event lab changes and there's, there's a lot more things available to, to, uh, to create now with event lab. I feel like people would have probably made some more interesting, some more interesting tracks and some, some really cool ones, so. Yeah, you can still spin this out, but it does handle quite well as a as a mid-engine car. We all know that mid-engine cars in in, uh, in Forza, especially, they just seem to to have something about them. They just love to go sideways, and they just hold the angle so nicely. Now this is no exception. I agree, though. This is this this could be a very good tandeming gym. A nice slow track needed for this though. You don't you don't really need to go too fast. That's why I didn't really want to test this thing out on the on uh, on the mountain pass. I feel like it'll be just so boring because the mountain pass is just you need you need quick cars for that, right? You need cars with a lot of power because there are some corners there that you're not gonna be able to get through them unless you just manji back and forward. And I feel like that's gonna be kind of ugly to do. If that makes sense, in a car like. I mean, this isn't low horsepower, but it's it's low compared to like, you know, picture like FD cars. You know what I mean? Like those things with thousands of horsepower. Literally, like there's the the what's it called the uh, the the Nissan Z, the the 400Z, whatever you want to call it. That thing making like almost 2,000 horsepower, and. Uh, it's just such an unbelievably sick car to, to drive around on, on the mountain pass. I feel like here it'll be just a wasted a, like wasted power. Pretty much. Whereas this car fits in just just nicely on the smaller tracks. But yeah, he's not wrong about this thing being being good for tandeming. I mean, if I had another person with me, then obviously it'd be a bit different than I could show you. But you can see how how little movement, small controls, it picks up speed when it needs to, when it needs to pick up speed. And 
Slows down nicely. Grip is very good. It's, it's just a very good car. I think this might be a, one of those episodes of the series where none of the people actually get banned from it. Let me know what you think about both of these tunes. Of course, you guys can try them out for yourselves. That's why I put the share codes in the videos as well so you guys can try them out. And uh, of course, the people that try these tunes get the exposure from it. You know, they get they get their tunes to be uh, to be played around with and, uh, and enjoyed by people and all that. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, then of course, subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, and obviously, if you want to send over some tunes for yourself, then uh, you can do so over on my Discord. Link to that is down below, along with everything else. Just click the link tree, and you will be taken there. And while you're down there, subscribe to the channel, because it helps out a lot. And you get to see any upcoming videos on the channel, um, you know, pop up on your subscription feed. Or, if you'd like, you can click the little bell, and uh, you'll get notified whenever I upload a video. But for now, that's it. For now, that's it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.